a day and we're gonna learn that right now for this month's music ministry I'm gonna resume doing my music ministry stuff but for this uh, month we're gonna do the unclouded day on claw hammer banjo and um, if you're not sure what that is my music ministry is where I come on here and teach you full hymns on multiple instruments banjo dulcimer mandolin whatever right and a lot of times I'll give you the tabs with them. And if I don't give you the tabs, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do a walkthrough. Sometimes I'll do both. Uh, I'm not going to do the tabs on this, but I am going to do a walkthrough, a full walkthrough of it for you. And um, the link will be down below. And there's more stuff over there at that link that you can grab, tabs and stuff like that. So if you're not sure about my music ministry, um, I believe that, you know, I'm called to teach hymns and to give a lot of them away, um, just as many as I can. Uh, you know, I want you to learn them, and I want you to play them for people, and I want you to share them with other people. You can definitely grab any of the tabs or any information that I have there, and I'll put the link down below, and you can share it with as many people as you'd like. Um, I just really wanna do that, but, um, there's also a section on there if you want to support my music ministry. Uh, you can. You don't have to. And really, you know, it's free. I, I want to give this for free. But if you uh, really enjoy these and want to see me continue them, you know, you might want to consider uh, doing that. Again, you don't have to. But thank you for those who do. I really appreciate it. Um, but anyway, the reason why I'm capoed here, I'm playing this in A right now. And the only reason I'm capoed is just because my shoulder, I don't want to reach. You know, you think that's not really that much more of a reach, but it is over a, a period of time. So I'm trying to just ease into my, my shoulder and neck uh, stuff after my surgery. Um, so anyway, that's why I'm teaching it in A. But uh, you can feel free to play it in G or whatever you want to do there. But let's, uh, let's break it down into little sections. And what you should do is you should, after each section, you should pause the video and then just try to work on that section. Rewind it if you need to. Listen to me tell you about how to do it again. I try to make the sections small enough that you can absorb them quickly. But this is really the best way to learn, in my opinion. I think you'll retain it if you take the time to break it down and do this versus just reading a tab, okay? And there's nothing wrong with reading a tab, but a lot of people tend to read a tab and then they just let the song go and they have a hard time remembering it. This way, you're gonna remember it more, okay? Here we go, let's get down to learning this song. So here's the first little section. note I want to make is that um, you can add double thumbing in, you can add extra claw hammer strokes in as you would like, but I'm just here to show you the melody notes, and I'll add some claw hammer strokes in there too, and it'll sound just fine if you're playing, um, you know, your little break uh, and not playing the chords and singing, you're playing the break or someone else is doing the singing, you know, and you're... See, that time I added some strums, but so we start out on the fourth string open and the second fret. So we do open, then second fret, then open third string. And we're going to stay here for quite a while because that's the way the melody goes. 
So, so they tell me of a home. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're going to get on the second fret of the third string and do a two, four slide. Far, B. And then we go back to the second fret. And then open. Beyond. So far beyond. So they tell me of a home far beyond. So all I'm doing there is just another open, then second fret four, and then four open, right? So that whole little part goes. strokes okay now here's the next little part okay and notice we we slid and then we did a higher string you can get a lot of these notes on open strings below it but I love doing these little slides I think they sound better so that's the way I'm going to present it to you. So that next little part starts the same way again. So that part's the same. Open four, second fret, and then open three. And then when we slide up from the uh, second fret to the fourth, we stay there. And then we just hit the third fret on the second string below it. And then we do the fifth fret and then third fret again. So let me do that again. Now, here it is with some added claw hammer strokes. All right. So now what I'm going to do is play the first and second part that I just showed you. Okay, third part. You're gonna notice a lot of these things will have sections that repeat. You're gonna notice that a lot in a lot of songs, all right? So the next part. Like I just said, you're going to notice repeats. That is the same as the first part. So the third is the same as the first. So I'm going to play all three right now. two and three right now here's the last little part of your verse okay I'll play it again all right so what we're doing is we're sliding from the second string second fret to the third fret all right and then we're doing a claw hammer stroke and then we're doing that note again. So, stroke, note again. So then we go five, three, open, right? I'll do it again. All right? Now we go up. Uh, now we go up to the third string open and we do open and second fret so and then it's two open second strings then second fret third string and then open third string all right let me do it again And then 
I just did another claw hammer stroke and an open third string again. All right, so that was the entire verses part. Let me play it for you. <laughs> To the chorus now um i want to i want to say this as well if someone is singing this however they are singing it is how you need to do your break now what do i mean when i say that okay well if you look in the hymnal and you play it with a piano like you're doing it in church you're going to not have anything extra happening there um, there's not going to be a little pause or much of a pause. Sometimes there is like you'll get to the end and then there's a pause and then the piano will start and they'll start singing again. Right? Well, we don't do that when we're playing banjo or any of these other things. We don't, we don't do that pause where we just stop everything. We keep playing. So you might find some fill happening. And when that's going on, you're just going like this. You're just you're just doing your claw hammer stroke, okay? So if that's the case where you've got a singer that's singing, you might have some extra measures there. And that's okay. You just do that with fill. And so let me give you an example of some fill, like in um in the chorus. So I added a little bit there and that's okay. So what I'm telling you here is to match whatever your singer is doing. If your singer just goes right into it, like just starts over, just like in the hymnal, then you don't add anything extra, but you may need to. And you know, it's very common in music for that to happen where you add, add a little turnaround or something like that, especially in bluegrass, they'll add a little turnaround and um, it's just, Starting the verse over with the next verse is what it's doing, basically. So don't be afraid of that. And don't think that that um, if you see something tabbed out, I'm not giving you the tab, but if you see something tabbed out, don't think that you can't add a turnaround there for your singer or whatever, okay? Don't think that someone else is wrong, but, you know, like, oh, well, they tabbed this wrong or, oh, well, you're not doing it right. No, there's none of that. Um, sometimes in music we'll have a turnaround or just some extra measures okay that just happens all right so let's get into this chorus first of all there's no new notes here so even the chorus same notes we've been using so we're going to start out here with that two three slide second string first part all right so all we're doing there is that two three on the second string same as before so strum thumb and then note again five three so And then we strum thumbed again and then open and then second fret third string so it's all in the third string open Next part. And we're going to 
into that D7 chord. So that goes three five, uh, three, five again. And then instead of just staying on the third, we go three, two. Right? I hope that makes sense. Okay. One more time with that. So we're doing that three, two, three, right? Okay. Then it's going to walk back around to the beginning. And that's it. All right, so we went back to that beginning, right? And then we go. Okay, so that was the whole chorus. And the last two parts of the chorus are in the verses part as well. I hope you realize that. So now I'm just going to play through the whole thing slowly again, the verse and the chorus. course had a car go by there <laughs> so I stopped a little bit but I want you to realize <clears throat> that little small changes here and there uh, with notes and things you do are totally okay as long as it fits within your timing right um, so if you want to do it a different way, of course that's fine, but you want these basic melody notes. Go. you watch like a 20 minute video to learn the song but you know this is the best way to do it it really is you will you will really learn a lot more of the song if you do it that way and you will retain it um so and if you listen you'll learn a lot of those notes by ear too and um that's important so I hope, I hope that you've enjoyed this and got something out of it. And most of all, I hope that you're going to play this song. All right, so now we're going to do the chords for this. It's just G, C, and D, right? Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the skies. They tell me of a home far away. They tell me. I just 
did a D7 there, but you can still do unclouded day. So it goes G, G, oh, they tell me of a home far beyond, see, far beyond the skies. G, they tell me of a home far a D. Back to G, they tell me of a home where no sea clouds. G. You can do it. Hope you have fun and enjoy it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.